What's up guys? We are back at the shop and today I am working on the Civic engine again. Uh, basically gonna get this thing all uh, slapped back together to, uh, to actually put it in there. So one of the things I was kind of hesitant of on doing uh, last week is kind of why I didn't end up finish putting this thing together was as I wanted to potentially put in the cams. So I have a set of uh, Skunk 2 Stage 3 cams uh, that I ordered for this thing a long time ago. And uh, or not, it was probably a couple months ago. So. Uh, ended up not throwing them in uh, back then just because I didn't want to mess with tuning and uh, so I was like oh I put it back together with the stock cams for now and so I just wanted to ask some people and uh, I was talking to Steve the guy who tuned the Mustang and the Supra uh, he's done a lot of these K-series K things before too and he said that he's made 1200 horse at this altitude on a uh, K-series uh, without those cams and he was saying that if you have a too big of a cam there's not enough air up here and uh, it could potentially like just make it not spool uh, very good or it'd have to put the VTEC at like 7200 and he said it just kind of takes a lot of power out of it uh, if you have uh, if you have the cam too big of a cam essentially and not enough air so he said if we were at sea level it'd probably help out but he'd recommend like a set of stage ones uh, since it is turbo it's already forcing a bunch of air in there anyhow um, so uh, we did get it all timed and everything ready to go the other day uh, so now I just I, I did buy this this billet front cover and one of the reasons I did that is because it's actually a two-piece design um, to where you could actually take off the head and leave all of this stuff um, actually with the motor in the car. So like if we did want to swap a head or if we had an issue on like a race week or something like that, or if we did want to swap cams, uh, we could just do that without actually, uh, you know, pulling off this whole timing cover because that just takes a long time. So I uh, did a quick little fitment check with it real quick just to kind of make sure it was going to line up good since we did have this, this head decked. Uh, and it's looking all right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a new seal in this guy down here and uh, get it pretty much ready. Pretty much just gonna slap this thing back together and then we're gonna stick it in the car, so. So, getting some things back together on here. I uh, had to run out back. I have a, a D-Series that's like threw a rod out of it that's in the trunk of a car out back. So, I uh, went and stole uh, what they call the dot bolts, which are uh, basically the flywheel bolts, but they just have a little dot on them instead of uh, like the K-Series ones. They don't, have, they don't have dots, they just say F12 on them. So, uh, I ended up having, so I have some ARPs but so one of the issues that we've talked about before is uh, length. So you can see the ARP is actually longer and the dot bolt is just like the slightest bit different, which is weird. Cause like I just ran it in to the crank uh, and compared it to the, the stock bolts. And it was in just like, I don't know, I'd say like a, an extra two millimeters or something like that. Um, so I don't know, I used, I used the dot bolts, well I used six of them and then two of the other ones, which they seem like they torqued down. They made a little mark on the, the pressure plate or the flywheel uh, on the, like the little black anodizing or whatever. So I think they torqued down just fine. Uh, so this is a brand new clutch. Uh, same exact one I had in here, which is a uh, competition stage five, whatever twin disc uh, with, the race, with the race discs in it. Um, if you guys look, where did the other one go? 
I don't know where it went. Um, the other disc. All right, it was hiding right here. So if you look at this thing, you can see it, it's all kind of boogered up right here on this end. And then if you look on, uh, on this side of it, you can see all that crap and there's like a, there's a booger on it right there. So I uh, could probably clean that up on like a CNC or something and then maybe use it in like an NA build or something like that. Something that's not making as much power. Uh, but for right now, uh, we got a brand new one. And honestly, that kind of hurts a little bit because that thing was freaking expensive. And uh, I ended up buying it locally. And uh, I, I really do want a triple disc in here. So anyhow, that's uh, it's whatever. It's going back together. So uh, I'm here well, by myself right now. Well, we got a little Carson. Carson, what you doing? What happened? Your babies keep falling down? Yeah. Oh no. She's over here and her babies keep just falling down. So she probably needs a little bit of help. But uh, yeah, Carson can't really help me pick up that transmission and stick it on the thing. Do you want, do you want me to help you put them in here? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Is that better? I'll put that guy in there. And what about... This one will go in here. Okay, this one goes here. Give me that one. This one goes here. Hey, you bugger them all up. Oops. Yeah. This one and you bugger her up. I'll just stuff her in there. You I gotta, I'm gonna help her out for a second and then we're gonna get back up to working on the car. The baby's situated, they're ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up with, uh, with this and uh, put the tranny on there. She should be ready to uh, pretty much stuff back in. Engine and transmission are finally mated together again. Hopefully for a little bit longer of a, of a time now. So Ty is getting ready to back out the the giveaway Civic. So if you guys, uh, woo, woo. so that is a uh, basically an open header uh, B16 that is in there right now. But uh, if you didn't see the videos on this thing, 97 uh, basically brand new paint it has the 99 front end conversion on it, uh, coilovers, wheels, all that stuff, and uh, we have a like a huge amount of, uh, of things that are actually going on. So we have like the Type R wing, uh, we have an exhaust, we have a turbo manifold, we got a clutch, we have seat brackets, we got freaking fender liners, we got a bunch of little interior trinkets and engine bay trinkets, we got carpet for it. We got a lot of stuff for that thing. So uh, if you guys have not seen any of that, or if you would like to get entered for a chance to win this freaking thing, MotionAutoTV.com, every $1 you spend is an automatic entry for a chance to win it. But man, look at this thing out in the sun. Whoo! That is such a cool color. This thing is so straight too. So uh, yeah, we got a couple more, uh, more little things that we're gonna be doing with that within this next week or so. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you guys do support the giveaways, I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, moving that guy out of the way, so that way we could back up the yellow Civic get it over here on the lift and slap that engine in it again because I've done this a couple times you know it, it'll it'll be in there in like 20 minutes so let's get her going So, uh, time lapse camera died, and uh, I just didn't film like feel like film anything anymore, just because this thing it's been apart and back together so many times. But uh, she's back together, 
She runs good. I uh, got it all fired up, topped off with oil, coolant system bled, all that stuff ready to go. Uh, but one of your guys' uh, biggest complaint is me driving this thing is uh, my steering wheel is just crooked right there. So uh, we have something to actually fix that. Thanks to the boys over there at Motion Race Works. So they sell this MPI steering wheel um, that has their little, uh, they have a little logo that goes right here. And I uh, had to do some little adapter stuff to it to actually get it to, to work with a, with a Civic. So one of the reasons uh, I wanted to go with this wheel instead of like a typical like NRG uh, thing is because they actually make this little bracket right here that bolts on, uses these little, uh, little pieces right there in the steering wheel where you could actually put a button. So uh, a lot of guys with, uh, with like automatics will use that for like a trans brake or something. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is instead of having uh, my launch control button on the e-brake, the e and it's just kind of a mess, it's always in the way, uh, we'll just put it right there on, on that. And as soon as I launch, freaking let, let go of it and just drive the car. Um, so I think that's kind of the plan is we'll do that. Uh, but one of the interesting things that I had to do to actually get it to work is uh, it's a five bolt steering wheel and there's not, it's not too common to do, uh, there's not like a five bolt steering wheel adapter. Uh, so this is a energy part, uh, adapts basically the stock splines to a six bolt. Um, and then I got a NRG quick release that goes from a six bolt right here to a five bolt right here. So that was kind of a little interesting thing. And uh, again, all this stuff was, uh, was supposed to be on the car before we did race week, but obviously we threw the crank out or we, we tore the crank out of this thing like two days before and then just decided not to, to you know rush the Civic and get it done. So uh, one of the other cool things uh, that they actually have and uh, I'm gonna be putting on my car as well is this uh, billet coolant overflow tank. So uh, this is basically the, the same exact bottom piece as uh, their billet catch can, um, but it just has a different top for it to where you could actually run uh, for the coolant overflow. So again, huge shout out to the guys over there at Motion Race Works. Again, everything is made uh, in-house at the, in their, in the USA, uh, or you know, all, the, all of their products, they make them in-house, which is really cool. Um, but that is gonna be replacing this uh, guy right here. So that is a old vitamin water uh, water bottle with a little hose kind of going into it in the top. Uh, and what I think is gonna be kind of cool is uh, we already have the Motion Race Works billet catch can right here. And uh, so we'll, we'll kind of have like a symmetrical, you know, Motion Race Works thing right there. So again, Huge shout out to those guys. Uh, did a lot of stuff with them on Drag Week. Really cool dudes, and they actually sent me a new shop banner. So I got me a shop banner, makes the shop look a little bit better, and we, we hide some of the crap up there on, uh, on my lift. So we're gonna go ahead and install the steering wheel real quick. Um, I need one more fitting for this, because I don't have a push locker. The stuff that I have for, for that isn't, uh, is too big. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the steering wheel, and then uh, we're gonna install the steering wheel. Let me go for a drive probably. Alright boys, so we got the steering wheel installed. Check this guy out. Got a nice little little button right there. Has a nice click. Also got the quick release. Let's just pop that guy off. Oh, it's hard to do it one handed. You're supposed to be doing two. But uh, and then we also installed the BTI uh, can gauge in it again so that I actually have all my uh, Basically everything that I could see from the ECU. So uh, got all that stuff installed. I actually found that fitting that I ordered a while back. And so I went ahead and mounted the catch can right here. So pretty solid spot. There was already a bolt hole right there. So just ran a 10 mil in it. And I got some of this clear tubing so we could actually see if it's pushing things through it or not. And um, you know, see if it gets a little steamy or whatever. But uh, yeah, nice little black fitting right there. Looks pretty good. So uh, I don't know. I mean. I don't think there's really much else to do other than uh, actually take this thing for uh, for a little drive and see how, she, uh, see how she's doing. So I'm gonna go grab the GoPro, throw it on my head, and we'll go see how this thing does.
until she's dripping, I guess. So uh, that's a Civic. She's uh, seems like she's ripping pretty good. So uh, there's actually tomorrow a Friday night drags. Uh, so I would like to take this thing out there and uh, and test with it a little bit more. Uh, now that we have the flywheel all tightened down and, and do all that type of stuff. I still haven't ran a freaking nine second pass in this thing and the goal with it was to run eights this year. Uh, but uh, you know with COVID shutting everything down and hopefully it doesn't shut a bunch of stuff down here here shortly again because that kind of seems like where it's going. But uh, yeah anyhow ripping pretty good. Uh, the timing cover uh, over here there's a, uh, a little thing for the little timing it's like the little plunger thing right there. It's like a little inspector guy. Uh, I didn't put any silicone on that because it was a really tight fit. And I thought maybe it would seal, but it doesn't seal. So it leaks a little bit. So uh, I need to fix that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, freaking Yellow Civic is up and ripping. Uh, this thing, we are giving it away. Hopefully you guys are stoked about that. We, we seriously have just a mountain of parts for it right here. A little turbo manifold, We've got an intercooler kit, we got some freaking carpet, we got a bunch of stuff. So uh, I'm gonna try to turbo that thing in a day, uh, which I think will be really cool. And to kind of show you guys, you know, the whole process of actually turbo and stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, again, every $1 you spend on motionontv.com is an automatic entry for a chance to win. And uh, you could be taking, taking this freaking clean 97 EK hatch. Uh, we also do have uh, one of these on the way. A uh, subscriber is actually sending it and it should actually be here Monday. So really excited for that. We have a new wing for it. It's got a bunch of parts for it. I feel like freaking like it, it's just crazy. Like I, I get on get on the internet and I just build a big old cart and then I just like cringe and then I like, boop. And uh, so that's why we end up with a, a freaking mountain of, uh, of stuff over here. But uh, again, super stoked to uh, to be get, you know, giving you guys the opportunity to win that thing as also get some cool merch. We have uh, this is, that is the Wagon Life t-shirt uh, that is live on the website. Yeah, you guys better not sleep on this giveaway because it is ending soon. Uh, actually, it's about, we're only doing a 30 day giveaway. Normally we do uh, 45 day giveaways, but uh, yeah, be sure to hop on in there, get you guys some merch. Don't go home empty handed and uh, support your boys, but appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you later.